Hey everybody, welcome to the Blue Collar Beard Gentlemen. I'm Topher and I started this channel because I'm a fan of craft beer, but I'm also on a limited budget. And I wanted to demonstrate that it was possible to enjoy good quality beers without having to break the bank. Therefore, I'm always looking for the best deals. And I think I may have found a pretty decent one today. The guys at Belmont Station, located at 4500 Southeast Stark here in Portland, Oregon, hooked me up with Level Beer's Let's Play Dry Hop Pilsner in a 12 ounce can for only $2.49. This beer at the time of recording is two months old, and yes, uh, it was in fact level beer that I last reviewed. It was their Game On IPA that I reviewed and gave very high marks to. I'm hoping I have high marks to give this one as well. Uh, this beer has a 5% ABV. Now, when I went to go look at beer judging certification programs uh, rankings, what I could best find was the German Pils. And there's a distinction between German Pils and German Pilsner. I'm not going to go over that in this video. but. A 5% ABV is what this beer has. Typically a German Pils comes between a 4.4 and a 5.2. According to Untap, this beer has a has 30 IBUs and a German Pils usually become, comes between 22 and 40 IBUs. Now, the German Pilsner, uh, and there, some claim there's a distinction between Pilsner and Pils. I'm not going to go over that as I said, but the German Pilsner was adapted from the Czech Pilsner and it was first brewed in the 1870s and it accommodated the brewing conditions in Germany that were different than um, the Czech conditions, whether it was, uh, I know for one, the water conditions were different, um, what side of the hill or how much shade the hops got when they were grown, all kinds of things contributed to that. So the 1870s is when the German Pilsner first emerged, and it was after the Second World War when there was a real push to get into the new and modern era past the degradation that the Nazis had brought the Germanies in, brought Germans into, there was a real push for modern things and modern things, and that is when uh, German Pilsners really took off and became extremely popular. Now, three of my friends on Untapped have reviewed this beer, that being Sydney Maloma, Jamison, and Middleside Topwise. I'm thinking Jamison and Middleside Topwise must be Northwesterners, because I seem to have a lot of the same beers as they do. Uh, Anyway, the three of them collectively have given this beer a 3.75 on Untapped. 2,293 of us have given it a collective score of 3.71. Beer Advocate has had eight rankings with an average score of 3.94. With, with eight rankings, uh, they don't have an overall score, so there's not an, uh, there's, it's NA for average score. Average score 3.94 on a five-point scale, though. That, that's actually pretty high. Uh, remember once again that uh, all beers fall into the category of lagers and, and ales. Pilsners are lagers. So all Pilsners are lager, lagers, not all lagers are Pilsners. And probably the most popular Pilsner that you may have seen or are familiar with is Light Beer from Miller, L-I-T-E. That is actually a Pilsner beer. So I think we've gone enough about that. Oh, one more thing I do want to note before the uh, airplane makes it impossible for me to be heard is that Level Beer is in fact an independent craft brewer. Is it here on this can? Well, I don't see it. I honestly don't see it, but I know it was on the last can, so um, they are in fact a craft brewer, and we know that they're a craft brewer. It's not on this can. Nancy's probably going to go ahead and put that logo up anyway because it was on the other can, but it's not on this one. And real fast, let me explain, or let me say that the uh, brewer explains, or describes this beer as a German style Pilsner based beer that uses traditional floral herbal hops along with citrusy American dry hops bright crisp refreshing with a pleasant hoppy aroma as I stated before on this channel if you're in doubt as to what makes a variety American as opposed to another more often than not it's hops we Americans love to put our hops into beers all right let's crack this bad boy open see what we got going here gonna be using my Teku glass the other thing about Pilsners is that they're supposed to be very light beers. They oftentimes have high carbonation, they're very easy to drink. Um, lately there's been a push towards Imperial Pilsner. To me, that seems almost, uh, well, oxymoronic, actually, to say Imperial Pilsner. The high, idea of a high, high ABV uh, Pilsner just seems kind of, frankly, kind of strange to me. But this Pilsner is proving to be very true to form. We've got lots and lots of nice little bubbles coming up. I'm going to describe that as a medium high carbonation. Not super duper uh, carbonation like some Pilsners I've seen. That head is 
not really going much of any place. Uh, it's not popping. We got a little bit of lacing, which is kind of surprising considering we only had that 5% ABV. But then again, for a Pilsner, a full 5% is actually a little on the high end, but not overly. This is, I'm going to describe as a very pale straw color, and I have no problem seeing my hand on the other side of this. Well, I've been getting a lot of sunlight here in Rose City, so uh, I say let's go ahead and get to some drinking. Shall we? Well, no, 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 not quite yet, because I haven't, I haven't checked the bouquet. <laughs> so you think it's my first time reviewing a beer? Okay. Let's see what we got. Well, we got a lot of malt. Normally with Pilsners, I'm used to inhaling a lot of yeast um, in the bouquet, but this is actually almost exclusively malt. Getting a little bit of hoppiness on the back end of there, a little bit of a piney hoppiness, but mostly it's malt. Well, now I'm going to start drinking. Cheers. Okay, we'll describe it as a medium-low mouthfeel, which is kind of what you would expect from a Pilsner. Pilsners being lighter beers, uh, not a whole lot of spikiness to that. Not a whole lot of bitterness to it. Uh, the dry hopping, I'm not really tasting. Um, it uh, it basically just takes tastes kind of like a lager to me. In fact, I think I think all that the dry hopping really did was take away some of the Pilsner is ishness uh, from it. So it now it just kind of tastes like a like a standard lager. Um, yeah, yeah, this is, this is basically, to me now, it's just a lager. I don't, uh, I don't taste Pilsner in this. Um, Pilsner is a variety that I, I really like. It's my, it's the favorite of, of the lagers for me. Um, and, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not, uh, I'm not crazy about this because I don't think it's true to form. Now, if they had sold this to me as a lager, I'd probably be giving this higher marks. But because they, uh, sold it as a dry hop Pilsner, I'm expecting a little bit of Pilsner-ish to it. I'm expecting either a little bit of sulfur to come through on the um, bouquet because I know that other American brewers who have made German-style Pilsners have managed to get that sulfur smell by using the proper waters. Um, I don't know, Level Beer. I think you kind of fell short on this one. Uh, I, w I was really crazy about that game on IPA. This one, not so much. And mainly because I feel that you've, you've mislabeled the beer. I think if you just called it a lager, it'd be getting higher marks from me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this beer... I'm going to give it a 3 point... Uh, I'm going to give it a 3.5. Um, the beer itself. It'll get that extra 0.25 for arriving in a can, so it's going to get an overall score of 3.75 on untapped for me. But... Um, I'm just going to put it to you this way. If you were expecting a super hoppery, super hoppy Pilsner, um, that's not the case with this beer. And this beer being only two months old, I don't think it's a case of it being past uh, a certain date or, you know, it's it's just absorbed some of the flavors or the flavors have mellowed or what have you. Um, I just think that they've kind of mislabeled this beer. I think that they made a pretty, an okay, uh, an okay lager, but um, I don't think that it's a, it, it's a dry hop Pilsner. But, you know, there you go. It's, it's still, as I said, a, a decent beer. Well, guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Fat50 and Running a Marathon. And until next time, drink good beer and don't break the bank doing it. Cheers.